People claim they saw aliens after a UFO crash landed in Brazil in 1996, according to a new documentary. Now, it may sound like science fiction, but on January 13th, 1996, the United States Air Force shot down a UFO, which crashed six miles from a medium-sized town in southeastern Brazil. Seven days later, two sisters, aged 14 and 16, and a 21-year-old friend spot a tiny, frightened alien with big red eyes crouching by a wall. They run, screaming, back to their mother. The Brazilian police and military capture at least two aliens, one of which scratches an officer, infecting and ultimately killing him. Before dying along with its extraterrestrial comrades, the U.S. Air Force confiscates the alien bodies and takes them to an unknown location. A vast cover-up by the Brazilian military, enforced with death threats, has lasted for 26 years. But it's all made up. It's one of the greatest works of science fiction history. Most everyone who hears the witnesses tell their story a quarter of a century later is convinced they are telling the truth. And now, a new documentary, Moment of Contact, which is currently streaming on multiple locations, lays out the most convincing case yet that extraterrestrials not only exist, but have visited and died on Earth. Now, a college professor, an amateur ultralight pilot named Carlos de Souza, said he witnessed the crash in Virginia, Brazil, on January 13, 1996. And in the film, de Souza describes the spacecraft as the size of a school bus, but shaped more like a submarine, with white smoke leaking out of a gash in its back. He compares the UFO to a malfunctioning washing machine rocking and jerking around in the sky. When witnesses came in contact with the alien, they said it looked scared and it appeared to be suffering from the heat. D'Souza says he ran to the site of the crash where he saw pieces of metal like a thin aluminum foil spread across the field. He said he picked up a piece of the metal, crumpled it in his hand, and then let it go, at which point it returned to its original shape. Immediately afterward, he says the military showed up and soldiers started screaming at him to go away. Go away! Go away! I'm ordering you! They yelled as one officer held a rifle to his face. Now, seven days later, sisters Lillian and Valkydia Silva and their friend Katia Xavier were walking through an empty lot in between two houses when they spotted the creature just eight feet away. It was in the front, and they were a little further back, Lillian, who was 16 in 1996, explains in the Moment of Contact documentary. Passing by here, the graffiti caught my attention. I looked and I saw the creature. It appeared to be suffering from the heat. When Lillian screamed, I looked and felt fear, said Valkyria, who was 14 at the time. I looked into its eyes and saw that it was frightened, just as I was frightened. The creature was also frightened. I saw that it was afraid of us. It was an exchange of fears. It for ours afraid of us, in the same way we were afraid of it, a being we weren't familiar with. What I saw stopped me in my tracks, says Katia, who was 21 at the time. It glued me to that spot. It had red eyes, oily skin. I couldn't see an open mouth, not smiling, a sad expression, a shrunken back. It didn't have hair, eyes three times bigger than ours. After Lillianne screamed, she started running away, and the two girls joined her. What we saw wasn't human and wasn't an animal either. Nowadays, I do think it was a being from another planet, says Liliana. 
It wasn't a man. It wasn't an animal. What it was, I can say, says Valkyria, after we ran for a while, we stopped and asked what we saw, and then we ran to our mothers. I came out to meet the girls, their mother, Louisa says in the film, because mothers have a sixth sense. They were scared and walking slowly and dragging each other. We were children of Catholics and thought it could have been a demon. That's why we were so scared, said Lillianne. Louisa made the girls return, and when they got back to the spot, their mother saw the footprints in the dirt, which she drew for filmmaker Fox. It was a round foot with three long toes, and I believe we have a picture here. For 20 days, I smelled its smell, said Louisa. I couldn't stand the smell. I don't know where it came from. I even washed my nose with alcohol and water. It was an ammonia smell, says Katia. No, it wasn't ammonia, says the mother. It smelled worse than sulfur. What a strange smell. I grabbed Katia and said, let's get out of here. They told their story to the press and were met with ridicule at the time, as you can imagine. But the girls have not changed their testimony in 25 years that passed between the event and the making of the film in 2021. Six miles away from the crash site, according to the film, the military set up a blockade in a residential neighborhood. Sources say the local fire department, which is under the control of the military police, captured one of the creatures in the morning, and another officer captured a second near where the three girls had seen it later that afternoon. Whew. That was when the creature scratched the young officer Marco Cesare. And here we have a picture, who soon grew sick and sought help at the hospital, according to the film. The doctor who treated him said Chariz spoke openly about what happened because he feared he was dying and was fighting to survive from his encounter with the creature. Now, two people who did not participate in the documentary Moment of Contact spoke exclusively to local newspapers about senior Brazilian officials who told them about their own encounters with the creatures. It was skinny, weak, and fragile, said Vittorio Pacini, a civilian UFO investigator who said he was shown a 35-second film fragment of the creature by a senior officer in 2012. It had brown skin with an oil or grease on the body. It had a big head with red eyes and no pupils. The face was like a reptile, like a frog with strange red eyes, three times bigger than ours, and three protuberances about its head. Pacacini said the creature was alive, but it looked like it was about to die. It made a little sound, he said, like a bee. Now, Patricia Fernandez Silva described two creatures that were nearly identical to the one described by Pasacini and the three girls. She says the former sheriff of Virginia, who learned she was a UFO researcher, invited her into an office building in 2014, where he and four other officers interrogated her for hours. The whole time they were asking me about my relationship to Virginia but I had never investigated the case. I knew about it, but I had nothing to do with it. Finally, the senior officer asked the other officers to leave the room. It was then that he showed her a color photo shot on film and printed on Kodak paper. In the photo, Silva were two creatures, one dead and the other crouched in the same way the three girls had described it. It had three, I won't say horns, but three high abscesses on the forehead, she said. He took the picture and said, are you, you sure you don't know anything about this? Look at the photo. She was terrified, but I said, no, I had no knowledge. The former sheriff told Silva that his hands had been paralyzed ever since he grabbed the creature by the legs. The man's hands were cupped 
and he struggled awkwardly to pull the photo out of an old newspaper he kept in a transparent photo, she said. Unlike Pacacini and the girls, Silva said the eyes of the creature were black, not red, but otherwise she described an identical creature. The mouth was very small, she said. The skin of the alive one had a shine, but it was not an oily shine. It was kind of a gooey-like shine. He stepped out of a swimming pool or something. It was wet or damp. Pacacini said he has videotaped interviews with at least seven military officers about the encounters that he is keeping in a secure location. After he accused the military of a cover-up, he said hostile drivers on four separate occasions bumped his car on the highway. On the fourth time, two shots were fired at his car. He said he has received hundreds of death threats over the years, and in 2004, he moved to Italy to escape. Now, it's interesting that moment of contact comes at a moment of heightened interest in UFOs, and the fact that the people involved were shot at similar to Bob Lazar leaves pause as well as the observation or the account that there was like a tin foil like material when crumpled returned to its original shape, which connects it to Roswell. In May of this year, a Navy intelligence officer said the military had a database of 400 unidentified aerial phenomena and incidents, but no evidence of aliens had ever been found. At the same time, the military has not ruled out that the UAPs are operated by extraterrestrials. In fact, in June, NASA announced it was joining the military's investigation into such UAPs. And so the mystery continues. And we'll end tonight with the trailer from Moment of Contact. In 1996, the people of Virginia, Brazil, witnessed a UFO event that would change their lives forever. Call it another Roswell, if you will. It is a crashed vehicle that had beings on board. But they couldn't admit the truth. The population would enter in collapse. Nothing we have to hide. Finally, the facts will be revealed. The Virginia case is considered the most well-kept secret in the military circles of Brazil. My objective here is to put some clarity on what took place in Virginia, Brazil, January 1996. The witnesses are some of the most compelling testimony I've ever heard. Meu nome é Carlos de Souza. Meu nome é Cátia Xavier. Meu nome é Liliane Silva. Meu nome é Valkyria Silva. Em 1996, eu vi uma criatura estranha ali. Action! A lot of people in this town have a little piece of the puzzle. Naquele local, eu vi o rastro da criatura pé. Foi onde ele falou que que eu vi era uma coisa sobrenatural. This year. Mark Pelicherez, he had captured this creature with his bare hands. Você confirma que o seu irmão estava de serviço naquele dia 20? Confirmo. After he captured the creature, he developed this infection that wouldn't go away. Foi pro CTI de manhã, 7 horas da manhã, 15 para o meio dia, ele veio a óbito. This can no longer be covered up. They might shoot us because we're on the property. Eu levo a defesa, 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 eu levo a defesa. This can't be denied. Bateram na porta, e aí eles falaram pra mim. Ficar quieto. Se qualquer um que isso sofrer uma punição muito severa. This was proof. We pull this off. It'll be the most compelling testimony revealed. Of contact. Aqui, ó. Foi aqui. This is a level of confirmation that only a handful of people on this planet have. 